Climate change is resulting in the increased frequency, duration, intensity, timing and spread of extreme heat across the globe. Average temperatures are increasing and heat waves are becoming more frequent. This is becoming a public health problem. It is not only the heat that is a problem, but it's the increasing hum humidity that is threatening human health. Heat exposure has, be has health implications for people surviving heat stroke. And there is growing evidence that healthy individuals that experience heat stress will have strain placed on their hearts and other body systems, which can have long-term consequences, especially if these individuals will be continuously exposed to heat extremes. So currently, prevention and treatment of heat illness is very rudimentary, and it can be hard to understand if symptoms are from the heat exposure or for other underlying conditions. So with genetics, we're hoping that this will allow us to better understand the biological pathways which can result in new interventions, diagnostics, treatments and therapies. We'd want to use genetics also to identify those most susceptible to heat illness and to severe outcomes of heat illness, meaning they can be prioritised for prevention and care. Our new report, Heat Health and Human Genetics, looks more into this important topic.